Alright, hello everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim Wildlander Permadeath. We're here with Valen the Exiled in the town of Winterhold and Bernus Ottomans. First thing we're going to do is actually oh, just sell a few things that. Um, that we didn't at the end of the last episode. So let's see, we got a few books here. We can sell these. Uh, Mana Mark of King of Worms. Words of Philosophy. We got a Spell Tome, Soothe Rank 2. Now, this might be useful. This actually we found in the last episode. Exposure is reduced by 20 for 30 seconds. Um, so that's pretty nice. And let's see. We got a few Malachite ingots here to sell. So let's sell those. Um, we have a whole bunch of ingredients. We're doing good on food. We got a couple of scrolls. Pretty good on potions, although we're low on um, stamina potions. We should fix that. We have a ring of resist magic. I think we'll actually just y use that, just equip that. And uh, we have too many like arrows and stuff here. So we're just gonna sell some arrows and some bolts. We also have the staff of the spirit wolf. We could sell this as well, but I actually wanna just hold on to it because I think it might come in handy. So, all right, thank you, Ben, Good day. Fallon says. And uh, we go back here and we equip this. So we got that ring. Let's favorite this. And let's read that spell tome, Soothe, rank 2. Now, let's see. Let's check. We got this in Illusion, so let's just favorite that. Get it on our right hand. And like that, we get an Illusion increase to 8. Very nice. Now, this will come in handy um, in the event that we're like about to freeze in a blizzard or something out there. And we just need like a little bit of extra help with uh, getting back to town or something. Staying alive long enough. Let's see, can we get another level up there? No, not quite yet. Okay. But let's maybe just wait for an hour. And if we do it then, yeah, we get another level up. So that's pretty nice. And it is actually an apprentice level spell. So, yeah. Um, let's see. We got Staff of the Spirit Wolf here. I think we'll actually put that onto four instead of Skeletal Soldier. And, uh,. Yeah, we also have Mage Coat, so we can use that as well. Yeah, we got a lot of good uh, spells here, so that's good. Now, we got to top off on health before we go out, but <coughs> let's see. What is Valen's job today? What's his mission? Well, we got this missive here, Clear Out Bronzewater Cave. I think that sounds manageable. I think that's something we can handle today, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, let's just get our spells ready here, and uh, let's get that bound sword there. All right, and let's step outside. Um, I think the general approach we want to have right now with Valen is just sort of continuing to improve his skills, level him up, get him better equipment. He's especially lacking in very strong equipment right now, especially in armor. And I think... Um, that's something we could remedy, especially if we found a Thalmor patrol, because we could get their armor off of them. But um, Bronzewater Cave is down here, and uh, I think we're gonna just like head out south this way, take this mountain pass, and then we'll come to that cave by the lake. So let's get going. As Valen turns on his lantern, and uh, let's get our sword ready here. The other thing we gotta check today is our camping and survival skills. Um, I think we have a few perks that we can get in those, and those should actually be very useful. Um, so we're gonna have to take a look at that, but let's see here. Lady Azora watching over. But uh, okay, we come out here and um, nice view, but uh, Okay, looks like we got some hostile guys. They're looking for me. Inter oh, oh, okay. Alright. Alright, here's what we do. Let's get that spirit wolf. And my spirit wolf is off. Running against that enemy. All right, we got the uh, crossbow. Good boy. All right. What you got? Fool. 
Alright. What did you have? Howl off cruel sea. Alright, not much. Nothing very good. That was scary when he took the shot with the crossbow. What was this guy? Philosopher Coil. Well, you're not going to be doing much philosophy anymore. Steel heavy crossbow. 60 damage. <sighs> we could actually just uh, take that. Why not? Let's take it. Why not? There's a frost troll down there. And there's just a straight up horse here. Wait, who is this? Barrow Catanius. Oh, I thought I was a goner just now. Thanks for the help. And if you need any supplies, I have a few to sell. <sighs> well, what have you got for sale? Take a look. Hello, horse. Well, I didn't know that we saved this guy, but let's see what he has for sale. He's got a bunch of random stuff. Hmm. Like we could get some lock picks. Why not? Animal bone enormous. Interesting. And he's got some, like, ingots and stuff, and some pelts, and some arrows. He doesn't really have much. I don't know, could we, like, sell something to you? Let's see, the Dwarven Heavy Bow does the same damage as a Steel Heavy Crossbow. Although it weighs less. Let's just sell the crossbow, I'm not going to use it. Mm -hmm. I'm fine with the bow if, if, if we have to use it, but alright. We got a little bit of gold there. We got a few block picks. Whatever. I don't want to overburden our inventory with a ton of uh, weapons and items, so we don't have any room for stuff that we can just straight up sell and get cash on hand. Because there's a few purchases that we could make, like getting a horse that would be very useful. Like that guy had a horse. I didn't know that we were uh, saving him, though. But, well... Saber cat is just chilling. And let's actually have some food now. Let's have this Mulwine Braze Mammoth. We get that recovery effect. And uh, have a little bit more to eat. There we go. Get some stamina back. And it is uh, getting dark out. So we might need to consider camping for the night at some point. And uh, checking out our skills there. But, um, yeah, the goddess of twilight is always guiding, guiding Valen's hand through this dark and treacherous land. Um, let's see, are we going the right way? Yeah, we gotta, let's go around this way. So, yeah. And it is getting to that dusk hour as the stars are coming out in the night sky. Alright, let's just keep going. And, uh... Yeah, I think this is good, this just kind of taking simple jobs, exploring a bit on the way there, seeing what we come across, improving our skills, getting some nice loot, maybe making some nice coin and then just spending that on better stuff maybe some trainers and uh... alright it's a bit of a ruined dwarven thing here Alf Tan. Yeah. alright doesn't seem to be too much of interest Lock Adept. Expedition Manifest. Hmm. We've managed to secure the size and hold off any others who may try to steal our discoveries so far, especially those from the College of Winterhold, who seem to think the glory of exploring every ruin should be theirs alone. The crew for our expedition is as follows. Hmm. Interesting. Need a couple more laborers getting through the ice is proving difficult. Let's leave this here. There's this adept level chest, but I think uh, let's leave that alone for now. Yeah, we're gonna definitely want to get more uh, knock spells. Who who is that? Who's coming towards us? What do you want? Take this and hold on to it. I'll be back for it later. 
Are you good? Don't lose it. Um, no time to talk. Snitch or double cross me and I'll kill you. I mean it. Okay, we got let's see. Elven gauntlets of eminent lock picking. They actually don't have as much armor as the fur guards gauntlets. Lock picking skill is increased by twelve though. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, the well-made fur guard gauntlets actually have more armor. Well. All right, here comes somebody else. Did you see someone run past just now? What was that? Oh. All right, let's let let's leave them alone. Let's see. Yeah, let's uh let's just keep going. Let's get our sword ready. And let's see here. Interesting. Elven gauntlets. I wonder if we can improve these. Hmm. Yeah, they're actually worse than our fur guard gauntlets, but maybe we can visit a smith and improve some of our armor. Wayward Pass. Okay, there's a little shrine here. Steel shield, iron boots, steel sword, shrine of RK. Those blessed by RK are slightly more resistant to wounds. The champions of RK are exalted with greater health and some magicka regeneration. Sounds pretty good. But it looks like it won't work for us. So, uh, Ancient Traveler's Skull, Iron Helmet, Amulet of RK. Snowberries there, too. Um, Alright, well, that was a nice little find. Red Mountain Flowers, Lavender. Interesting. Let's see. Amulet of RK. I think we can actually attach this to our backpack if we take this to a smith. And then we can have a different, uh, have just like a different uh, enchantment on our amulet. But let's keep going here carefully. All right, what's up ahead? Let's see. It is getting pretty dark. We should probably set up camp for the night. Okay, who is that? Who are you? This is my treasure. Oh, it's your treasure. Oh god, okay. He's got spells. Here, alright. Let's take this. God damn, dude. Hmm. Should we use the spider venom? Alright, I think we got him. Sly Ongar. What did you have? A Dwarven Heavy Crossbow High Grade. Holy crap. Alright. Imperial Officer Helmet well made. Yeah, he was nicking all the good stuff off the dead bodies. Well. Why not take the bolts? Sly Ongar. Well, not so sly now, are you? Well, that was good. Man, there's a lot of uh, steel fire arrows. Imperial heavy bow high grade. No, it's not good enough. Hold on, 71 damage. While the dwarven heavy bow does 60 damage. But we have this dwarven heavy crossbow now, so screw the the bow. We don't need the bow. Two remarkable health potions. Oh my god. Well, we really lucked out here. Amulet of Talos. We'll take it. Careless Holgarth. Well, he got looted. Bearskin Cloak. Ornate Black. Why not? And what did Lewis have? Wolfskin Cloak. Ornate Black. Well, alright. I was... Pretty surprised when he casted the uh, the frost spell at us. That that scared me. That was a bit of a scary moment, but I think we're good now. All right. Okay. Looks like there's some folks down there patrolling on the street. It looks like they're going hostile to something. And let's just sneak. Yeah, they're they've. They've engaged something. There's some kind of building over there. Maybe let's work, make our way over there, but... 
Let's just investigate. Yeah, it looks like that was a patrol of maybe some Imperials or something. I'm not sure. Stormcloaks or Imperials. But we are freezing. Let's, uh... Let's see, what do we got here? Sten? What did you have, Sten? You were an Imperial. A bunch of well-made armor, though. Take the bearskin. Why not? Leodes. Herd. Bearskin white. Sure. Um... Danis, what about you? Alright, Sasson, okay. Alright, I think, uh, I think we're, let's just get away from here. Alright, it is dark and cold. Let's maybe check the inn. Yeah, Nightgate Inn here. There we go. Alright, let's stop in. Let's at least warm ourselves up and see what the vibe is. Alright. As Valen steps in, he just makes his way over to the fire. And, uh, yeah, we're, let's just warm up in here for a bit. Who's this fellow? It looks like he has a straight up katana on him. Hadring got himself another customer, eh? <laughs> Do you come here a lot? You see any other inns around here? Where else would I go to drink? Hmm. Sure, walk away. I wasn't talking or anything. Well, the vibe is not great in this tavern. Hello. Ah, hello there, traveler. Come to the night gate for food or lodging. Hmm. Anything you need. Nothing really that interesting going on here, so let's just get our temperature back to zero or back to normal and uh, I think uh, we're pretty close to the bronze water cave now bronze water cave yeah so we just got to make our way there all right so we're warm back up let's head out to Skyrim all right and we got a lot of ingredients here let's actually check our alchemy ingredients yeah, let's eat some of these, because we should learn their effects. There we go. We're going to get some effects. It's all good, though. And uh, let's get our sword. Yeah, there are so many snowberries in this area to pick. So, All right, we're coming down to the frozen lake. Keep that mage armor ready to go. Looks like a horker right there. Yep. And, uh, yeah, this is just a spooky frozen lake. Yeah, that, I'm sure that night gate in doesn't get much. Alright, bronze water cave, here we go. Alright, let's cast this and, uh, see what we got. Okay, I hear a wolf. There's a frostbite spider as well. Alright. Oh god. Sorry, wolf. Alright, we gotta kill the frostbite spider. Alright, this is actually a good time to use this. So let's just cast this. Alright. There we go. There we go. All right, that was all we had to do. Complete it, clear out Bronzewater Cave, collect bounty from Scald the Elder. Very nice. Now let's top off our health. Actually, let's see, do we have healing poultice? We should have some healing poultice. I'm sh sure we do, I'm positive we do. I don't see any, but let's maybe just take a uh, restore health here. All right, there is a chest here, expert level chest. Now we do have some scrolls for this, so let's get a scroll of knock rank two and pop that on there. Boom, baby. Yes, here we go. Amethyst, 
Dwarven Shield of Shock Suppression. Very cool. Dwarven War Axe of Fear. Filled Soul Gem Fragment. Flawless Garnet. Peridot. We could take the Dwarven Gear, but it's not really worth much. I don't know what, what to do with it other than sell it. So maybe melt it down to make an ingot, but... I don't know. Valen's not really much of a smith. Alright, we got this Frostbite Spider here, and we are overweighed, but uh, I think that's okay. Here, let's... Um, let's see. Can we extract some Venom? Alright, we messed up. We spill some of the Venom, and we poison ourselves. Great. We don't get any Venom. Can we get some ingredients, though? Alright, we pick some ingredients. Venomous Spittle and an animal bone. Alright, let's see. Let's take the venomous spittle. And we get some effects. Damage health, lingering damage health, lingering damage stamina. Paralysis, interesting. Alright, let's just dispose of the body. We don't need anything else. What's that? Potion of restore magic are good. Some small antlers. Why not? Okay, those look like they're ingredients. Doe antlers. Let's take those. Okay. There's a wolf here. Um, can we field dress you? Alright, can we just harvest some ingredients from you? Alright, it's almost midnight. Okay. Alright, we could take meat or the pelt, but I think we'll just dispose of the wolf. Alright. Um... Alright, let's see. Let's take a drink of water. And the next thing I want to do is actually make a fire. Alright, let's make a fire. And let's take a look at our survival skills now. So, first thing to do is to get the fire started. So, let's see. Um, let's use these wooden torches. Prepare fire. Add good tinder. Use fire magic to light the fire. Alright. Valen sparks some flames from his fingers and very easily he gets this going and uh, okay can we uh, hold up let's see skills perfect now let's take a look what have we got all right firecraft 67 percent of the way there uh, zero perks to increase so we can't do anything with camping light campfires seven seconds faster in all weather conditions when using strike stone. All right, next skill, please. Okay, select unyielding. All right, so about survival, carry weight is increased by 50 points. Perks to increase one, yes. Let's get that, and boom, there we go. And uh, what else we got? Adaptation, perks to increase two. Increases warmth rating by 20, thank you. Now we could get warmth rating to 40, or we could get frost ward. Exposure increase from frost spells and attacks is reduced by 20, 25%. Um, okay, this is an endurance uh, skill tree. You can swim in frigid water 50% longer and it no longer drains your stamina. Yeah, let's get this. What is this? Uh, glacial swimmer. Let's go ahead and get that. Alright, great. And let's exit. Um, now let's get some, let's get some health back. And, uh, let's see, let's get our tent. Now this is actually interesting. If we use our tent inside, so it shows the silhouette of the tent, and I hit place here, it'll actually just deploy the bedroll because we're inside of a cave. So, let's see, it's a little bit past midnight. I think Valen's gonna go to sleep for... Let's say uh, eight hours, why not? And, okay, we wake up in the morning feeling well rested, camping perk available. Let's see, we can't use skills without lighting a fire. So let's see, we got another perk available. Let's do this. Let's see. Hmm. How much kindling do we need? Hold on, I think we need tinder crude. Okay, add tinder crude. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you need the tinder and the uh, kindling together. 
to light the fire. So let's just get that going again. Taking it a little bit of time for Valen. See, like he just woke up. He hasn't had breakfast yet. He's feeling kind of groggy, you know. He's feeling kind of like, all right, let's get the fire going. We can even upgrade this if we want. That all goes to increasing our skills. And let's check. Let's see. I think we increase camping skill. All right, so that was endurance. Let's take a look at camping. Perks to increase one. All right, we'll get that. Why not? All right, exit skills. Let's pack up our tent. And uh, let's have a bit of breakfast. So let's take a swig of the water skin. Very good. Let's have the mole wine braised mammoth. Sounds delicious. Well fed. Perfect. Get stamina recovery. Um, yeah, just dwarven gear in there. And, uh... All right, if we, uh, we'll, we'll just leave the fire there, who cares? We can always get more fuel. Okay, we wake up in the morning to kind of a cloudy day, but the sun is shining and we have to get back to Dawnstar in one piece. So let's see, if we go straight here in north or like sort of maybe along this mountainside, and then we just kind of cut north. I think we'll get there soon, so... Alright, let's get our spells ready, and, uh... Let's head out to Dawnstar. Alright, well, we got to this road. Looks like there's something... over there. And I can hear people. Silverdrift Lair. All right, let's maybe, uh, our sneak just went up, and we got a level up there. So let's see. Let's get health. And, uh, I think, uh, we are using our fire bolt a lot, so why don't we get pyromancy? Why not? Let's see. All right, let's see. You sense yourself more aware, more open to new ideas. You've learned a lot about Skyrim. It's hard to believe how ignorant you were, but now you have so much more to learn. Oh. There we go. All right, he wasn't too bad. There we go. All right, let's see. What did you guys have? Steel bolt, we'll take. Brilliant Valand. What did you have? Okay. Let's see. What is this? Silver Drift Lair. Hmm. I'm curious. Why don't we just check it out out of curiosity? But if anything looks dangerous, we'll just turn around. Okay. There's a dead body here. Nothing very good on him. Another body there. A scroll of firebolt, summon spirit wolf. Okay. Okay. I just casted a spell and nobody's looking for me. Hmm. I can hear stuff though. Yeah, there's a Draugr up ahead. Oh! Okay, yeah, let's just get out of here. Yeah, I don't like this. Let's get out of here. <sighs> just a few things in there. Is this guy following me outside? He's a level 30 Draugr. Come on, bro. Alright, he's gonna do a shout right there. Finish him by the sword. Draugr. What did he have? Just some bone meal and a greatsword. Alright. 
I'm almost tempted to, uh, ooh, small antlers, interesting. Let's see, doe antlers, small antlers. Okay, no idea. Well, yeah, I don't know. Let's, um, let's not get carried away here. Let's, uh, let's get away from this area. Yeah, getting shouted and then just getting killed by, like, a great sword wielding Draugr overlord or something just doesn't sound like uh, something we want to do today. Okay, who's that? There is straight up a guy right there. He's coming at us with a knife. Alright. God damn. Alright. Looks like he was a common thief. You're not so tough, trains. Let's take the cloak. Alright, let's see. Dawnstar, this way. Alright. Yeah, the uh, the northern wilds can definitely be very dangerous. Not just from the enemies, but also the cold. Okay, there is a saber cat up ahead. Looks like he got distracted by a deer, though. Hmm. All right. What's going on over here? Waning stones. All right. Here, let's get our magic restored. What do we got? Let's go ahead and use that. Yeah, let's just get away from those things. Alright, we killed that one. Let's actually take it, some of that Ice Wraith Essence. Because that'll help us... Uh... There we go, let's take that too. What were they... They were guarding some, some kind of ruins here. Just make sure there aren't any traps or anything. Iron gauntlets. Hmm. Shrine of Talos. Alright, let's just keep heading to the north now. And uh, eventually we'll reach Dawnstar. Okay, we've got a troll. Got a frost troll. No problem. Alright, yeah, this frost troll is pursuing us. Here, let's see. Can we just like summon a guy to distract the troll for a little bit while we run? And uh, there's a big fort here, so let's just steer clear of the fort. Yeah, last thing we need is getting shot at from this, uh, the walls of this. And I can see a few people patrolling the, the ramparts. So Valen's just gonna s try to steer clear of everybody there. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Alright. What is that noise? What is going on? Jeez. Alright. Let's keep going north. Alright. Good. We d I don't think... Uh, I think we lost that troll and we lost the... Uh, the people from the castle that were noticing us. Some kind of building up here. Alright. Hall of the Vigilant. 
Interesting. We can, uh, I guess we can stop into the Hall of the Vigilant. See what these, uh, holy warriors are up to. Are you feeling sick? Oh yeah. We probably still, uh, still have, uh, that sickness, though. Hmm. Interesting. What? You speak to a vigilant of Stendar. Support with any data. Stendar's mercy be upon you. Down. You're a vigilant of Stendar. Our order was founded after the Oblivion Crisis. We dedicate our lives to facing the threat of Daedra wherever they appear. Hmm. Well, Fallon is kind of like, you know, he is a Daedra worshiper, so he's not going to tell these folks. But maybe it's not really his his type of thing. So let's keep heading for Dawnstar. All right, we're going to come up over this crest here. Looks like there's something fighting over there. Frost troll, yeah. Okay. It's fighting with some ice wraiths. Looks like there's some kind of little shrine here. Uh, incident and necrum. Okay. Illusion book. Very nice. Um Yeah, let's just get away from that troll though. And let's cast our Feather Falling here. There we go. And let's carry on to town. Alright, so we're coming up on Dawnstar, and uh, there's a render. I guess he's... Uh, I guess he's heading up to the temple. Um, I don't really have any intentions of doing that at the moment, but let's just uh, get into town. So we can hear the guards training at the barracks. Here we are in Dawnstar again. And uh, why don't we stop by the Jarl's Longhouse, the White Hall, and collect our bounty for that Bronzewater Cave mission. I think this was a pretty good episode. We all around got a uh, nice improvement. And why do I hear... What is that noise? What is that noise? Can we count on your spells to assist us in this hmm. It sounds like... That's very strange. I have no idea what's going on. I have no interest in taking sides in this war. I have no desire to be killed. That must be his, uh... Court mage. Court mage. to fight. Where's your sense of duty? When I came here... My only duties were to cure crop diseases and occasionally light a bonfire on holidays. I didn't sign up to kill. Fine, but this isn't over, Medina. We'll talk again. Seems she has no willingness to join these Nord barbarians in their war. Excuse me. Bronzewater Cave has been cleared, and I'm here for the bounty. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Thank you, my lord. Don't bother me again unless it's important. And uh, let's actually... Who is this? Medina. Can we talk to Medina? If you're here about the nightmares, I'm afraid my pleas to the College of Winterhold go unheard. Are you the court wizard? If you could call it that. The Jarl can make all the demands in the world. I'm not setting one foot on that bounty. I fought in the Great War. Hmm. I cut enough young lives short. I'm not going to do it again. She is experienced in war. Um, what have you got for sale? Let's see what she has. Glass battle staff. Interesting. A um, bunch of scrolls. She does have... Here, let's... Should we get these uh, knock scrolls? Let's get rank one. Let's get rank two as well. Um, she's got, let's see, Spell Tome Arcane Missile. Interesting. She does have quite a few spells, Spell Tomes here. Um, Ice Wind. Interesting. Hmm. Some of these might come in handy. Lightning Bolt might be useful against mages. Raise Dead. Hmm. Snow Spume. An explosion of ice shards, dealing 63 points of damage in its radius. 
Steam Cloud. Yeah, the, a lot of these are quite interesting. This is Venomous Spray. Let's us poison enemies. Well, we got a lot to look at here. Um, I'm not going to make up my mind quite yet as to what we're going to get, but um, why don't we just chat with her a bit more. Um, you mentioned the Great Wall. About 30 years ago, the Aldemary Dominion invaded the Empire. It was a surprise attack. Caught everyone off guard. They ended up sacking the Imperial City. I was there. Blasting apart young elven men and women with fireballs and lightning bolts. Hmm. By Akatosh. All the blood. The smell of flesh burned and pulled apart by magic. Hmm. I never want to do that to another soul. Ever again. Yeah. Back to another fine day in Dawnstar. Well, Medina doesn't seem particularly happy about her job, but... You know, at least, uh... She's somebody that Valen has respect for, but all right. I think we're going to call it there. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Skyrim Wildlander, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Peace.